Good morning. Welcome, my sweet, wonderful friends. I hope that you are all doing absolutely amazing. I appreciate you being here and happy Thursday. We're almost at the weekend and I hope you guys are having a great week. Any stress that you're carrying, I hope that it just lifts up off your shoulders and your burdens are easy, my friends. So today I am excited because I have a humongous crafting haul. So this is from Michael's, AliExpress, and Amazon. And I'm going to go through it kind of fast because, like, there's seriously a lot. But I'm so excited to show you guys this stuff. You might find, you know, something that you want to see used or something that, you know, you'd like to pick up. If there's anything in here that you have an idea of something that you'd like me to try so you can see it, just leave a comment and I would be happy to do it. So we're going to start with Michael's, then Amazon, and then we'll end with AliExpress because there's a ton, okay? So, and forgive me, you know, as you guys are probably aware by now, it is early in the morning and I am doing this before I get ready to head off to work and coffee is essential. So forgive me as I'm drinking my coffee in between. We're gonna start with Michaels. So I found a lot of things on sale. Um, there were a lot of things not on sale, but they had the 20% off coupon. You know, they always have a coupon. All right, so first of all, I got this. This is Resin Craft um, Creation Resin. So basically, it's a silicone mold maker. So these are like beads, like silicone beads. And apparently it says you can make make a mold in minutes. Now I have the other like like the soft putty looking mold stuff that I was gonna you know use also, but I saw this and I thought, you know, this would definitely be worth you know trying and you know seeing if it works. So this was like twenty four dollars and then the twenty percent off so it was like twenty dollars so and I'm not sure how many molds it'll make but you know we'll try it and we'll see if it's worth the money all right and then from that same line I picked up these these little molds here and these guys the reason I got them because I thought, oh, it's a they're a little bit different because they have this for the for the little gem parts. They have this on the inside of it. So I'm thinking that it'll probably have like an end, end dent piece and maybe afterwards like you can go in and add some stuff or I'm not sure how it's going to look. So, you know, but I thought that that was cool because I haven't seen any with this in the center before. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna see how it looks. You know, looking at the picture, it looks like there's like a, a hole through it. I don't know, we'll look and see. And then I got this. So this is uh, turquoise. So it's not real turquoise, it's how light made to look like turquoise. So it was normally $24.99. It was 60% off. And I don't have an actual plan for it, but you know, it's so pretty. You know, and I figure I can break the pieces up if I need to. But it was so pretty that I thought, you know, I can I can find stuff to do with this. So so 60% off would have made it about 11 11 dollars or so and then also on sale i got these beads and i don't know if you can like really see them well but they're you know it looks like you know cement that is like 
porous with the little openings in there. And I thought that they were really, really pretty. So these colors are so nice. And I realized that this one, I bought it and it should have had a second strand. I didn't pay attention. See, this has two strands and then this color has two strands. So I lost a strand. But these were on clearance for $3, which is about 50% off. But these colors are really pretty. So I thought I would, you know, add these with my beads and I will find nice things to do with these. And then I pick up the I picked up these Swarovski crystals. They're regular eight dollars, and they were on clearance for two dollars. Now I don't have an actual plan for them, but they're pretty, and I thought you know two dollars is a really good deal for that. So I will just you know put them away until I have something special to use them for. And then this, so this is a Tim Holtz piece. And I have a nice little plan for this. It opens like this, so cute. And I really like this. And the plan that I have for this, I'm actually gonna be making it for myself but I thought that this was really cute. So $4.99 and then the 20, you know, percent off. So what does that make it like $4.20 or something? So really cute. Okay, so this, it's called Warbla. It's for craft and cosplay. So it's Warbla's deco art. So it is a thermoplastic pellet and basically you heat it and you shape it and then you cool it to set it. So this was on clearance for $10 and I thought that would be worth it to try it and just see how it works. Cause I'm thinking that, you know, if you were doing a DIY and you needed, it was one of those things. If I just had one little piece that looked like this or that, I could make this project, right? Or, you know, also I was thinking, you know, if if it's moldable, I could probably use it to make things for like tumblers, stuff like that. So I thought that I would, for 10 bucks, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try it and just see how it works. So very cool, I'm excited about this. So we will, you know, see how it works together. And then this paint, it's this FX paint, and it was on clearance for $3, but look at the color. So this is called Mutant Shift, and I just thought that was so pretty. Oh, well, I guess that's not the color because they're all called Mutant, Sh Mutant Shift. That is too. What's the color on it? Don't know, don't see it. Well. One is like this pinkish red shifty color and then this green. And these are a good size bottle, so I thought that was a good deal for $3. And then this one is a glow in the dark and I just feel like it's always good to have a glow in the dark paint on hand. And my husband actually used the last of mine on targets for shooting arrows. So I picked up some more. And then I picked up this little stand. So this is one, it's a, a camera stand that sort of like hooks to your table. And the other one that I have that hooks to the table to go like above is sort of like flexible and wobbly. So I thought that this might be a little bit more sturdy. So these were $34.99. And then I had the 20% off, of course. So made them like 28-ish dollars. I got one for myself and I got one for Scott. And then I picked this up. It was $17.99. It's magnetic photo paper. So, you know, I feel like it should cut okay in the Cricut. I'm gonna try it and see 
comes with five sheets. It's $17.99. They're pretty big sheets, but I thought, you know, this would be really great for, you know, making little projects. And if you were like your kid is in, you know, like a baseball team, a soccer team, something, and you wanted to do something for like the coach, like this would be nice because you could do like a team picture and then, you know, have it cut out and it's a photo magnet. So we'll try those. All right, so these were on clearance. I know like they're skulls and that's not really normally like my vibe. But I thought that, you know, like these might come in handy around Halloween. I might want to do something with them. So, you know, and they're only $2 for these silicone molds. So I thought that was good. And then this one is like a filigree. It's funny because they call it a cosplay mold. But, I mean, I don't know where you use filigree on a cosplay. But I don't know much about cosplay. So, but I thought that was pretty. And then this one, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I first got it, I was thinking that it was a bull head, and then I realized it was a dragon. But $2, I did get some tumblers. So I normally buy my tumblers at Stainless Steel Depot, but at Michael's, these are, they're $7.99. But you know, they have the 20% off coupon, so it makes them $6.40. And I like these. I have some tumblers that I need to get done. And I like these like tops like this because it's easy to when you want to decorate the top of your tumbler as well. Like this is a really easy tumbler for that. So I've got a couple projects planned with these. So now, all right, so I have all these molds and you know, I always have such good intention. Like I still have like the light bulb molds that I have all the plan in the world of making light bulbs with them because they're so cool. But have I? No, but I'm gonna be better with this one. This, I just think, is so cool. So this is a cloche mold. So here's the base of it. And then it's nice and thin through there, so your cloche is not like super thick. So I don't even think this will take that much epoxy, to be perfectly honest with you. But I am so excited to use this. This one, I will definitely like make sure that I do it fairly quickly and show it to you because, you know, as we turn around and get back up on, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like this is so cute to like, I just think so many projects you could make with this. This set here and everything from Amazon, I will link. But this set here, I actually got it for this piece here. I have a tumbler that I want to make using this. So I thought that this was really, really cute. And, you know, it has, you know, separate the little piece for the, that spins, you know, to tell you which direction you're going. And then it has all these little gears too, which are super cute. But this is gonna be really cute. And then this is a tail you can use for a mermaid, a whale, you know, whatever you're using. Of course, I have a project in mind for this. And this, I also have a project in mind for. it out because I want you to be able to see. So this is a little doorway and then with the cobblestone around it and then here's like small cobblestone fencing so like if you're gonna go this way and then if you needed bigger like boulders for it that would be this. 
So super cute. So I have two projects planned using these. And that is it for Amazon. So for AliExpress, I'm gonna start with, I've got two little items that are not really craft items. And so one are these Starbucks coasters. So these are just little silicone coasters. And they're just little silicone coasters, but I got these to put on my coffee bar. So I'm gonna be switching up my coffee bar. I had the one that I made out of the little baby carriage that I've used for years, but now that area where it's in, where it was in, I'm going to make into a little dog area because it's sort of a nook. And then I'm gonna get a bigger piece to make a larger coffee bar on the side of my kitchen. So I thought that these were super cute and I'm gonna add them, you know, for my coffee bar. So, and this came with it came with ten of these, and it was like eleven dollars. And then the other thing that is not a craft item from AliExpress, an AirPods case. So your bottom goes in there, your top goes on there, and then it's got this little hook for it right there. But I thought it was super cute. I don't have AirPods to put in and show you right now because I gave Scott my AirPods because he uses them most often and Reese ate his for breakfast the other morning. So there's that. Fortunately, we have insurance on them. So when we get them replaced, then I'll take mine back from him. All right, so now everything else is going to be for a craft project. So I'm gonna start with these phone holders. So these are just, you know, and I tried, you know, just a couple different ones. And this is just a clear phone holder so that I can decorate and do some different stuff with. So I got three of them. And then I got this one. This one will also like, you know, get some, a little bit more on it and get some epoxy on it. It's super cute, but it's like flimsy is, you know, super, super flimsy. So like it definitely will need some epoxy and stuff to make it a little harder and more protective. So, but I thought that this was really cute and I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with it. So there's those. And this stuff here, I sort of have it, I sort of have it like set up the way, it's set, the way I want it. So I got these foam grips and I thought I'd try them so, they're not the easiest to come out, but I thought they were really cute because the green and then the pink. But let me show you these ones. Okay, so these I thought were so cute, but I will say that you'll understand why they're sort of a challenge to get out once I get it out. You can see it's like if you remember those colorful like stacking plastic toys that you you know as a kid and so I thought this was really cute and I do like the fact that it you know allows this to like move around on it as well and then so that's what I realized like once you get it pulled out then it'll go then it's easy to in and out afterwards and then this is just made like this will rotate around but I thought that was really cute the best made no but 
you know, I mean, cute. They're inexpensive. So these I thought were really cool because they're clear. So they are clear foam grips. And so this, I was thinking a couple things. So I can do something on top of here and then I can even fill inside. I can like make it sort of like a shaker mold kind of thing. So I'll be doing some of those. Um, I'll probably like hit it up with a little UV so that it doesn't, you know, open up on anybody. But so I thought that that was cute that, you know, you could do that, right? But then also, you know, if you like to do the like clear acrylic and just put like, like a paint strip behind it and then a name, like you can do that and make a pop socket with these because it's clear. You're not gonna have a color shining through. So I just thought that that was really, really cool. So I ordered a bunch of these. I think I ordered like 20 and that was cute. And then this is the same thing, but this is in a heart. So with this, like the heart, I mean, you can take the little piece off and you can, you can do it, you know, like you would those, you could put like a little paint stripe behind it and then the name on the front. And with these, there's a little lip. So if you're putting epoxy in here, there's a little lip that's going to help keep it where it needs to be. So I thought these were really cute. So I ordered 10 of those. And then I, these are also like hearts. There's only two of them, but I just wanted to, you know, try them and see. I got them in gold. And then I got some bag wheels. And, and honestly, this isn't any less expensive than buying them at the Dollar Tree, but I, got these because of the different colors. So I got rose gold and gold and silver. So I liked, you know, having these different colors. And you know, they're really pretty colors too. So I got those. And then I got these ones and these are nice. So these are, you know, all these different colors. You can see all the different colors it comes in. So I did a video on um, when I was ordering, especially like the flat backs, because a lot of people had asked about them for some previous ones that I bought and I did a video. And since it takes a while, I did a video and showed them because you know, you can't really link um, links in AliExpress because it all changes a lot. But I did a video to show like how I pulled them up. So I will add that video in the description so that you can see, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to them. And then, so I got this mold and it is this flower. I thought that would be really pretty. So I got some plans for this. So this is uh, Star Wars and it is to make a straw topper. So I got this and my plan is to use it double duty so I can make a straw topper with it. But then I also plan on using these two here separately for badge reels. And then the same with this one, the Millennia Falcon. It's a straw topper, but again, I'm gonna make badge reels with those. And then this is a Disney badge reel. It's got, you know, the Minnie and Mickey in there and it's got the little princess castle. And then another straw topper. So same thing, double duty straw topper. And then I figured I could make like badge reels or pop sockets with this one as well. And then this one's just a little rocket super cute it's bigger than i expected it to be i thought it was going to be a little bit smaller than it is um so i won't be able to use it for what i planned on but i'm sure i'll find something to use it for and then this one is 
Olaf. So I've got two different Olafs there. And then this one is for Badgerials. And it's got the geodes, it's got hearts, and then some circles. But I bought this one for the geodes. Um, and you know, none of these none of these molds were over four dollars. So, and when I when I buy the molds, I really, you know, I look for stuff that has reviews, and I make sure that I go back and do a review, and I try and do a picture on these things so that other people looking for them, you know, can see ones with reviews. But they really like. I have never had a problem with molds that I've gotten from there. I get some really nice molds from there. And I find that a lot of the ones that you buy from, you know, certain websites and as well as Amazon, really, that's where they come from. So, but I get, I do really well with the molds. So, but none of them are expensive. All right, so now I'm gonna just show you some beads real quick. So I got two bags of these and I got, you know, lots of different colors. And these were about a couple dollars each. So, but these are the plastic beads, or not plastic, but the, those rubber beads that you find on like pacify pacifier or not pacifiers teething rings you know how they make those beaded teething rings these days this is that kind of bead so this is like a plastic bead but i like how they're big and they're pretty so lots of things that i will use them on and i got the multicolor packs and both of them you can get like all of a solid color different things but I thought these were really good so I'll be using these for projects and then these are the same material except they are Disney ears but so they would be mini ears because they got bows on them and then again same material so these are whales so if you were making like a pacifier you do like I, not a pass I keep saying a pacifier well actually that's not true because you could make like a pacifier clip holder also I just don't know that I feel comfortable giving a baby something to put in their mouth, that inexpensive stuff that comes from China. I have no plans of using these for babies, but if I were going to, I'd make it like a pacifier holder that, you know, a parent's not gonna let the baby suck on, you know? And then also the little cactuses. So I've seen, actually I bought my grandson a, teething ring from Target that has like this exact cactus on it and those beads in a color similar to it. So yeah, these are really cute. And again, they were, you know, a couple bucks. So I got these again, you know, only a few dollars and these are little clips. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, but so you would Put your whatever there push that up and it hangs on i was thinking that i would somehow use these for badge holders but i'm not exactly sure you know how i'll what i'll do with them i'll figure that out but i thought this was cute the little you know mickey ears on there and then you could hang like you know your tag or whatever like i would need to do something with this part here like i have to figure out how i would cover that because i don't like that you know but otherwise, they're cute, they're well made, they're definitely sturdy, and you know, especially, you know, for the price, you know, for a few bucks, and you know, you, I think there's five of them. Yeah, so there's five of them. And they have these on there in like all different colors. So this is acrylic. Now, the acrylic that has the brown paper on it is usually like a cast acrylic and that you can also sublimate on just so you know it picks up sublimation well but these are like little drops um i'm gonna do for projects so you know blood drops rain drops like you know different things like that and then some little hearts 
and it's got a film on it, and they're just some little acrylic hearts. Yeah, I thought I'd try them and see how they, you know, how they look and how they work out, and they all look really good. Like, I was very surprised at how good the acrylic stuff looks. I think this was like a dollar and four cents, and it's got like 20 of them in there, and look how, how cute this is. It's a little key with Mickey ears. So I'll be using these on projects so you guys will see these. And then you will definitely see these also. And these are little stethoscopes. So how cute is that? Little stethoscope. So I have a plan for these with a project. So super cute. And again, these were, you know, like a dollar and some change. No shipping, no shipping fee, like a buck and some change. And there's like a ton of them in there. So this, I picked up some of this on Amazon and it was in my last haul. All right. So I want you to, if you can see inside the bag, like there is a ton of this. I paid like $14 for this, which is about what I paid for it on Amazon. However, on Amazon, it was only like a handful of little tubes. And what I realized when I got this, this is the exact stuff that I got from Amazon and somebody just put their little sticker over top of it. And I think that's what a lot of people do for like their products. They pick it up on like AliExpress and then they, you know, resell it. And yeah, so look at how much I got of this and then there's a bunch of like little tops that are in there but there's like a ton of it so what this is this is called simulation glue so this is the stuff like if you see them making phone cases and it looks like the stuff that they're using looks like whipped cream that's what this is. And so I got this, like this is good for like making whipped cream on projects and stuff like that. I just wasn't expecting how much was gonna come in it. And I ordered this and I ordered the one from Amazon. I was gonna see if there was a difference, how it was, but it's the exact same product. The exact same product. Same shipping, same or same, you know, like packaging. They just put, slap their sticker on it. So exact same thing. I'm going to go through these kind of quick and show you because there's a lot of them. And I got to get ready to go to work here pretty soon. But, so just so you know, like these are all like a dollar and some change. No more than a couple bucks a piece. And I will link the video that shows you like how to find these. Because someone had asked me after I did a pop socket with the nursing Starbucks logo thing on it. And honestly, it took me two weeks to find these again on AliExpress. Like I was looking constantly to find these so that I could share them with her. So after I found them, I did a video to show you exactly like what the wording is in case you want to find them and I will link it, okay? So, but we'll do these ones first. These aren't the resin planters, but these, look how cute these are. So these are actually like um, buttons for like Crocs, but you know, I use buttons all the time in pop sockets. You know, I'll just take that off and use, and you know, use it on a pop socket, but look how cute those are. Super cute. And then, these ones are, you know, Sesame Street. So I will let my grandson, like, have these for his Crocs because, you know, he loves Elmo. So I'll let him have those. And then these are like little spaceships, rocket ships. It's got like a little earth on there. So I figured, you know, I'll let him have what he wants and then what he doesn't want I'll keep for pop sockets. Same with the Star Wars, I got all the baby Yodas. So I'll use some for pop sockets, but I'll let him have his pick first. So look how adorable these are. And 
again, none of these were any more than just like a couple bucks. So look how cute. So these are going to be, you know, for like pop sockets and badge reels. But there's five of them. You know, they all look just a little bit different. And super cute. And then Care Bears. How cute are these? Aren't these like adorable? And they're all flat back. So cute. So I thought I would do a pop socket or badge reel or whatever, you know, with all the different little Care Bears. So that will be fun. Okay, so now we're going to do the flat backs, and I'm just going to go through them quickly. So there's this one, friends, and these are all like for pop sockets and badge reels and stuff. So there's some friends. This one is a uh, Grinchmas blend. This one says Merry and Bright. And then this is uh, Starbucks, like the unicorn logo and faded in spots intentionally. Like that's what the logos they want it to look like. So this is like a unicorn looking logo. Band-Aids. And these are all a, it's like, it's a it's called planar resin. So it's like a plastic feeling. They take epoxy very well. And so, you know, you can use these however you want for, and you, and the thing is, if you don't do epoxy, you can make badge reels like, and stuff with these without, you don't have to put anything on it. I just do epoxy. So that's why I always say that, but you can make badge reels and stuff out of these without it. Like they're already, they're like a shiny hard surface. And then there's the little friends door. Starbucks coffee and gold. Little Minnie Mouse ears. See how pretty that is. This is the Sanderson Sisters, which is brew. And then this one has just some little donuts and coffee. And then another like Starbucks coffee, like mixed colors and faded really pretty some more mini ears like a peppermint for christmas and then this is like a regular starbucks logo mickey cupcakes some more mini ears Again, Mickey ears. And then these are nursing ones. This says, cute enough to stop your heart, skilled enough to restart it. And that little nursing ones. Then there's these. Pumpkin spice. Now these are, let me take this out because these are intentionally, it's like a sugar skull. So they're intentionally, um, you know, light in areas. So if you can see that, that's what that looks like, super cute. This is Scrub Life. And these are great, like you can put them on like pens and stuff also like there's so much you can do with these and then this one this one this one this is like Christmas lights toast and eggs and bacon This one's the teacher of many things. 
these ones here. Golden Girls, so it says stay golden. And this one is just simply Betty White. This is Rose, you know, Betty White as Rose Nyland. And it says, gee, with just three hours of sleep, I can be as bitchy as you. Mickey Ghosts. There's these ones here. And it's nice because like if you have like a Cricut or um, another cutting machine, I use Cricut, so I always say Cricut, but you like you can still, you can put a name on here. Like you can put all kinds of stuff on these. And this one is um, Superheroes and Scrubs. And there's these ones here. And these little Starbucks ones here with the drinks. And then this is another Friends one. It says Central Perk with the little couch in there. I got some good plans for these. Cat in the Hat. And this is Squad Goals, the Rugrats for all the 90s babies. And for the Duncan lovers, because not everybody's a Starbucks lover, there's your Duncan. And we got some pink Starbucks. These, oh my gosh, these are so cute. How cute are those? So cute. So I I think that I am going to do a 3D tumbler to look like this. Like I want to do a 3D tumbler that looks like this. It's so cute. And I put up my last video I put up, I did my first 3D tumbler. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I put a lot of work into it and I love it. It turned out so good. It's a dragon. So, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do one like this. And then we've got the little Pop-Tarts. And these ones, so with this, I saved it for last because I wanna show you, you know, definitely make sure that you're paying attention to sizing because these were a lot smaller than I thought, but you know, I can use these on like pens and stuff anyways. And I'll, there's always something to use these for, but these are definitely smaller than I expected. So, and that is it. So it was a very big haul. I wanted to get it all in one. I hope that it was helpful. I hope you found something that you like and I will again link the video. I will link the products that I can from Amazon. And we will use this stuff to craft. And then I was thinking that I'm at 14,000 subscribers. So I was thinking for 15,000 subscribers, I would, I will make a package with, you know, some of you know, each of these little plantar pieces. And I will use that as a 15,000 subscriber giveaway. So when we hit 15,000, I'll, I'll go ahead and make the package up. And then when we hit 15,000, we'll do a giveaway for the little plantars. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed, blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.